It smells good, it smells really good. Hey everybody, this is Egbert from Beer TV and today I will talk about a Bock beer called Bock and Poot from Brewery Brouwerij de Molen. I was there this weekend with a couple of friends to give Brewery de Molen a second chance. We had a Brewery de Molen, let's call it Brouwerij de Molen, a Brouwerij de Molen beer when I lived in the US and we really disliked that beer. It was really, really smoky and they, it's actually not in production anymore and there's a reason for it. So we went there for a reunion this weekend and we were really surprised how good the Brouwerij de Molen beers were. So um, we had a couple of beers um, afterwards. I went to the shop and I got me a couple of beers from Brouwerij de Molen. Um, one of the beers is Bock and Poot. It's a Bock beer, 6.3% alcohol, drink at 8 to 10%, uh, sorry, a temperature of 8 to 10. Um, it says it's fruity, caramel, sweet, a little bit bitter, not a lot of uh, spices and not very hoppy. Um, did you know that Bock beer is coming from Germany from the company Einbecker? Um, and after a while Bock beer changed into like the Einbecker changed into Einbeck, Einbecker, Einbock, Einbock, you know what I mean? So uh, Bock beer uh, started in Germany at the brewery Einbecker. Um, normally, a Bock beer is spicy. Some spices, I mean, not spicy. Some spices, sweet caramel. Um, if you don't know what Bock and Poot is, it is a uh, buck and leg, and it is a cookie in the Netherlands. It's like chocolate, it is crunchy. It's a little bit creamy in the inside. I actually really like it. It's almost like merengue-ish in the middle. Cookie outside, crunchy cookie with like chocolate on both sides. Um, I actually like the rebranding of Brouwerij de Molen. And if you're not aware, uh, Brouwerij de Molen was uh, purchased or uh, they're investing in it, but um, Royal Family Swinkles, the owner of Bavaria, they um, are, I'm not sure if they're owner right now, but they have a lot of uh, stocks in Brauerei de Molen, or they own it, I'm not sure, but I know that they um, are part of Brauerei de Molen right now. Well, let's pour it in. I actually got this uh, Bock Beer Festival Utrecht glass when I was at the Bock Beer Festival in Utrecht and I thought it was a good moment right now to pour a Bock Beer in that glass. I did not return that glass. There's like, um, you pay like four euros and if you don't return it, you can keep it or you get your four euros back. Um, well, I checked it out on Untapped and I talked to my brother-in-law and he did not like it uh, a while back, I think. Um, I also see on his Untapped it has like a one and a half. Um, I'm just wondering if he had this beer like after a lot of other Bock beers or um, I don't know, because a lot of people, they are giving this beer a good review, so a good rating. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the nose is Bokkepoot. It's like the chocolate, cookie, creamy, crunchy smell that I get in my nose. Holy moly. So it does not smell like a bok beer. Uh, it smells like Bokkepootjes. I really like the smell, it's very sweet, it's chocolate, 
vanilla. It smells good. It smells really good. Um, the smell gets an eight or a nine, but I'm not sure if this will be a bock beer taste, but let's give it a try. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think this bock beer has a really, really intense smell that I really like. The taste is a bit um, mild, a bit light. It's a little bit watery. Um, it's very drinkable. It's like you can drink this beer like all night long, I think, but it's it's not the best Bock beer I ever had, but I think it's very special what they did with the Bock about. Also in the taste, you get the Bock about a little bit back in your, um, like at your taste buds, but yeah, I like it, but it's not the, the Bock beer that I'm used to drink. So, um, I think they did a good job, but I would prefer a regular bock beer over this bock beer. Cheers. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that right now. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.